so after adding the WBO lightweight championship to his WBA lightweight championship with the unanimous decision victory over Jose Pardoza, what is next for Vasily Lomachenko? So before we delve into what is possibly next for Vasily Lomachenko, let me welcome you to Sports Talk with Troy, where I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you enjoy what I do here, you enjoy this video, or you enjoy my previous videos, and you haven't already, please give the channel a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Of course, I'm always interested in your, your take, so please leave a comment in the comment section as well. So let's go on to what I think might be next for Vasily Lomachenko. Now the strongest rumor I'm hearing is that he wants to face the winner of the proposed Richard Comini and Isaiah Chenyov fight for the vacant IBF championship in, in April. And that would be meaning he would be adding the IBF lightweight championship to his WBA and WBO championships. The thing though is that the Komini and Chenya fight hasn't yet been scheduled. And he's looking to unify that, make that fight in April. So right now, that's the strongest rumor that in April he's going to be facing the winner of Richard Komini and Isa Chenyev, but the Kamini Chenyev fight, which would be for the IBF championship, hasn't yet been scheduled as far as I know. So this is just my, my personal opinion. I realize that everyone says that Lomachenko is too small to make 140, and that 135 is his limit. And I'm somewhat inclined to agree, but looking at the landscape at lightweight, honestly, I'm not sure he has much of a choice. I mean, besides the winner of Komini and Cheniev, besides, I guess, Anthony Corolla, who's at 135? Now, you're probably typing Mike Garcia. And I appreciate the comment, but I'll get to Mike Garcia in, in just a second. I think he's going to need guys like Javante Davis, Miguel Burchelt, and Alberto Machado who are all champions at 130, super featherweight to move up to 135. Otherwise, there's really not a lot of options at 135, and he's gonna have to move up, even if he's, you know, too small. So let's talk about Mikey Garcia. So as you know, I believe in March, it might be April, I need to check, he faces IBF welterweight champion, Earl Spence Jr. Now, a lot of people, and honestly, I'm inclined to feel the same way as of now, Feel that Spence is going to win that fight pretty easily, you know, and, and make Garcia look like he's not one of the best fighters in the world, when in reality he is. And if that does happen, is the Lomachenko Garcia fight still appealing? Again, this is me speculating, but I, I feel like regardless of the result of the Mike Garcia Earl Spence fight. I don't think Mikey Garcia goes back down to lightweight because just like Lomachenko, who's there for him? Again, he'd be, be relying on guys from 130 to come up to, to face him for any real challenges. So I think if he loses, he might go one, down to 140. He might even stay at, at 147. Now if he wins, and he's capable of it, I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen, but he's a good boxer and he's capable of it. There are a lot of options at Walter Weight. You know, he's associated with the PBC. You know, a lot of fights seem to be made there for Garcia. Um, in from Thurman, the Pacquiao, Broner winner. I that Broner already beat Broner. Um, if if Broner wins that fight. Uh, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. A lot of options for Mike Garcia at 147 if he beats Earl Spence. Even if he doesn't beat Earl Spence, there's still options for him. Another thing to consider is that top rank promotes Lomachenko, also promotes two of the champions at 140 pounds, Maurice Hooker 
and Jose Carlos Ramirez. So making a fight with those two is really makeable. So I do feel that, well, his next fight may be at lightweight, maybe with the winner of Komi and Chenyoff. I, I still think that his time at 135 is, is limited. He's relying on guys coming up like Javante Davis, Alberto Machado, and Miguel Burchelt. This is my opinion. I'm always interested in hearing your opinion, so please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give the channel a subscribe. Please hit that bell notification button. And as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. I look forward to talking to you in the next video.